guys, this is still Cruz. Right about now, it's time to meet our guest. I'm sure you saw him, and probably some of you are wondering, ah, this guy looks familiar. Oh, I don't know him one time or so. He's uh, he's an OG. I'm but we need to call him OG. OG. I think sometime, I some days ago, somebody was like, what is OG? OG, OG. He's an I OG. Um, let me just read um, so a few things about him. His name is Kevin Chuang. Pam, did I get that pronunciation? Yep. Chuang, thank you yep. very much. Yep. He was born in the year 1982. So you understand where the OG is coming from? Before yeah, I did. Yeah, did. <laughs> okay. And he was the winner of the season four of Big Brother Africa in the year 2009. This is not Big Brother Niger. Big Brother Big Africa. Brother That's Africa. Whole Africa. He carried number one for Africa. <laughs> yeah. And he has a bachelor degree in English language from the University of Jules. He goes school. Okay, and Isabi is English. She's all eloquent. Mm, yes, mm, mm, Queen's mm, English. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> <laughs> um, earlier in 20, uh, 2006, while serving um, the National Youth Service Corps um, scheme in Lagos, he participated in the next movie star uh, Nigeria reality TV show, which he came out um, first runner up. And that was like um, the gateway to fame mm -hmm. and stardom for him and he got into big processes in four ways after beating 24 i don't want to say contestant 24 countries and uh, from 14 okay. african countries emerged and he emerged winner taking home the grand prize of two hundred thousand dollars i wish it was now you know the, you know the value of dollar now <laughs> two hundred thousand um dollars i was about to say pounds dollars of it yes yeah, and dollar. he's a father and um he's um also an entertainer he's uh, he's um many facets of um of creativity he's also um a founder of an ngo he's also into entertainment consultancy and many more of him that's why we're here to get to know him drum rolls this is kevin chuang pam you're welcome <laughs> officially to our thank show you. thank you good to have you oj yes sir oj before i a pleasure to meet you sir yes i can still remember all those years of watching you the white and white pop I'm color i think you, you put an is it a bling bling on your shirt i can't even make making was, a mistake I but, can't even remember that. but i remember <laughs> Remember the next movie was it the finals also you wore a white white there yeah, were, I think I think there was were some blinks at the edges of your collar ah, so, ah, i can still remember <laughs> that i was like ah this guy is swag all the girls you? were bowing down like this i mean they bow down <laughs> <laughs> but how are you doing good it's good, a good pleasure to have you pleasure um, to be here guys i don't know i don't even know what to say but <laughs> a pleasure to have you mm. so we're here to discuss about you talk about mm. the journey fame big brother mm. and um mm. coincidentally big brother is ongoing right now mm -hmm. and we we want to hear from your own side your own experiences um you've been there you've done that um there are a lot of things people don't know mm. i don't think i've seen um people ex housemates or winners of big brother even big brother niger come out to probably share more light on how the show is how the the experiences was and all of that but we have you now so mm. 20 2006 coming from next movie star you're already a star Mm. You don't they get plenty <laughs> DMs, lots of highs and all of that. Yeah. Then going to Big Brother. How was that transition for you? Did you did you go in? What what made you even go into Big Brother? Because I feel like probably as at that point you were a star already. We think come on, push you. Star already. That was like you know when they say there's a difference between bomb and knockout. Mm -hmm. Okay. When you hear pa, <laughs> pa, <laughs> yeah, boom. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> so the next movie star was pa. Big Brother was boom. Okay. So you know, even before next movie star I was applying for Big Brother. Oh. Right from the start. I applied for Big Brother five times. Whoa. Wow. Yeah, okay. since I was in UJ. Wow. I was applying before Katoon went. Even when Bio went, I applied. When Katoon went, we applied together. Mm. You know? Even this my guy behind this <laughs> video, we all applied together. So it's been something that we always I always wanted, wanted. To, to do to, you know, I always saw myself on Big Brother sitting on that couch hearing the presenter saying, and the winner of Big Brother Africa is my name. So really? wait, yeah. you knew you would win before going Not to sound what? cocky, you know, and they say, yeah. ah, your food is sweet, <laughs> I didn't even put salt to <laughs> Yes, I knew I was going to win. Uh, okay. Yes, because you, of how you had your own You dreamt about it. You knew your own Yes, I knew it. I've seen five years, guys. And I had you already trained myself on Next Movie Star. I did MTN, MTV, VJ Search. Whoa. I had done, you know, Joss, DOS, yeah. DJing, I've danced, I've done everything entertaining. entertaining. Then you put me in a house like that. It's a walkover now. You know, so, I mean, I was, I was confident I was going to win. And when it happened, it was just like a dream come true. 
if you notice, if you watch the winners, the final sh yeah. show, I actually acted out the celebration. I didn't know what to do because then I was like, okay, now I've won. What would you do? So in my head, when they call me, I was like, get up, lie down on the floor. I lay down on the floor. I stay for two minutes <laughs> and get up. I was just acting. I just, you know, I didn't even know how to react because I yeah. seen it coming. So, I mean, it was just a case of uh, resilience. I kept knocking on the door and finally it opened. Okay. Uh, my next question is that what did that, winning the Big Brother Africa, what's that was like a huge gateway for you. Oh, yeah. What opportunities did it present for you? Uh, it comes with, uh, like I always say, when young guys call me about wanting to go on Big Brother, I'm like, are you ready for it? Because it comes with the good, the bad, and the ugly. Yeah. Okay. It comes with a lot of opportunities. It comes with a lot of setbacks. It comes. It just makes you a moving target, you know? You, you Real people, You it's find, hard to find real people around you. I'm sure most people that have been on Big Brother, have won Big Brother, will share the same, will agree with me, you know? So it comes with everything. The, the doors open, some doors close, more, uh, you, 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 you jump into lakes with sharks and crocodiles, you know, you meet angels. It's just everything, it's a full package of everything. Mm -hmm. okay. But it, it's, more it's more to the advantage if you know how to manage. If you know how to manage. So because some people, when they get there, it, 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 they can't handle it, and then it hits them. Like I have housemates around that I talk to and, you know, life after Big Brother was never the same, especially if you don't win. That is the problem. You know, you're talking to me because I won. You won. Yeah, yeah I have housemates that did not win. Mm -hmm. So now you're working, let's say you're doing this job, now you get to go to Big Brother, you quit your job, you go to Big Brother, Big Brother takes you very, very high. high. And then you, you come out, no car, no, you're popular, no job again. And then people show you love for some time. And then and you're back stop. and you face reality. Maybe these days is better because I see fans gather and buy cars. Yeah. I don't know where my I fans are. I'm wondering where the fans are coming from. If you know if you buy me machine or <laughs> KSF, I don't mind. But I see them buy it. So maybe now, because during our time, yeah. there was no social media. Yeah. There, was, there was only uh, Twitter. Twitter just Twitter, came out. Yeah. And I remember mm. Kerry Hilson. Uh, tweet, uh, she, she sent me a congratulations message. Really? Yeah. Really? That's like one of my celebrity crushes. I know. She came to the house. I saw her. Like, I, I mean, so... I, now there's social media, so it's a lot easier, you know, to use yes, the ropes, you know. So yeah. somehow I feel bad for you guys because I'm now telling you, everybody wants to go to Big Brother because of the, the money, fame, fans, the fame. Yeah. they got that money and they buy you houses, yeah. cars, buy you cars. I'm like, which fans now? Where, no, where did they see these fans from? Okay, talking yeah. about the house, you said something earlier. You were like, when you were in the house, you you knew you would win when you got to the house. Yeah. But now, big brother of now, they say, when they see people talk like this, they say they went in with a script. With, black, you know, with yeah, a yeah. script. So does that mean that you had your own script? Personal script. If you have yes, a script, they see you as fake. No, 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 so no. does that mean you were fake in the house? No, 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 no. It is... Is it, is it like script or tr strategy? It's strategy. strategy. Okay. Because football, you put footballers. Yes. Not, Ronaldo you can play, but the coach will have to tell him, run this way when you okay. see this guy with the ball, because it is a plan. Mm -hmm. Like me, I knew I had the honor. Besides being a cool dude, mm -hmm. I knew that there were things I could do. So I, I started th thinking about how the, sh the show would, would, would go. Mm -hmm. started thinking of things that would give me more the edge over mm -hmm. the housemates. Because, of course, I expected to see people like me, you know, people yes. that, like, it wouldn't people be that came with their, own plans. with their own plan. So you have yeah. to come with a strategy, whether you like mm. it or not, except if you just feel, ah, I'm just going to be in the house, just being me. Being you is okay. You have to be you, but then with a strategy. Okay. I can tell you some of my strategies if you want to know, but then you can, you can share. You can share. Okay. So like, um, first of all, how, let me confirm to you that I was sure I was going to win. Yeah. The day after I came back from the audition in South Africa, Actually, when I went to South Africa, that was my first time out of Nigeria in a plane. Okay. The other one was Ghana. Young <laughs> that was just backyard. <laughs> backyard yeah. We went by road and they were smuggling us through border without uh, passports uh, and all that. So, yeah. so going to South Africa was the first time and, you know, I was, I, was, I was so excited. So after my auditions, I killed it. So I was so excited that in secondary school life. So I snuck out of the hotel with another housemate. We weren't supposed to see, but then, hey, and George saw, saw us. But then they were so excited. I was just dancing because me, I don't. I was too excited. I thought I was. They saw you when you They saw me. Okay. In fact, I thought I was going to be lose. I'll yeah. be disqualified. Mm. So I was waiting for that call, like the coming of Jesus. So that day I was on the web. I went to also one job like this, with my passport in my back. That's how I used to also add my international passport. So like if you say Chase. airport, mm, I don't you move. Don't move. Don't move. <laughs> I just got a call. Plus two seven. That's South Africa. Hi, is this Kevin? I'm like yes. I was okay with my friend Diane. 
congratulations, you made it to Big Brother Africa. As mm. I heard that congratulations, I knelt down in the middle yeah. of the road. So the girl was already walking. She turned, she saw me kneeling down, receiving a phone call. <laughs> she was like, what's wrong with that? I said, well, wait, wait. This was how I gave the details. They asked for my passport. I got yes. They gave me the brief like I was going on a mission. Mm. When I finished, I just told her, they have called me. While kneeling down, I'm like, they have called me. <laughs> Some guys just parked. They're like, babe, just say yes. I don't pay. I, see, that day, I was so mad. I was crazy that day. I was on a keke. I, I, was, I was hanging on the keke and looking into it. I said, do you know me? They were looking at what's wrong with this guy. Is here? I said, you will know <laughs> me. Oh, I can imagine <laughs> you know, so the I excitement. Was to, I was sure I was going to win. So when I was going into the house, I, that, you know, sometimes you, it's, you, you, you develop a strategy out in, in, in a spontaneous way. You mm. Look at what's going on. And then you yeah, pick the strategy. Yeah. So one of my strategies was, I'm an early riser. So when we have, when we sleep, most times they wake up in le- uh, 10, 11. I wake up by 6. The house is dirty. I can't live in a dirty mm-hmm. house. Yeah, right, so I start cleaning. I'm the only one awake. And you notice I'm you're the only one doing I'm that. I'm the only one doing that. I'm the one, only one getting TV time. The rest are sleeping. Mm-hmm. So now, if I move, I hear the cameras. Mm-hmm. TV time. Yeah, yeah, they they watch me. You. Yeah. <laughs> my diary, is, my diary sessions. Diary sessions are the place where, this is the place where you can connect with the, audience you have the camera in front of you you talk to them as if you're seeing the entire audience you know in that camera in that lens so i i I decided okay but truthfully this was out of the 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 the, 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 my heart straight from my heart i felt i should i'm on this show i have a platform to say one or two things that can encourage people why don't i pick topics that say things to encourage people out there that are going through different struggles so each time i go for my diary session i try to say something or encourage someone First, I was talking about people struggling, you know, talking about my story, how I made it there. If you're out there and you have a dream, follow your dream. Mm. You know, I spoke about stepmothers because I had a very a wicked stepmother okay. advising them to take care of their, the, the kids they, they have in their care. Mm. You know, so I mean, people got to you know, they, they you. connect love with me, you, you know. Mm-hmm. And then I decided that anytime I hear any song, no matter how tired I am, I will dance. <laughs> I will dance. And then let me give you, you this strategy. You, you don't get on a show and just say and just say things anyhow because there are people that have different opinions. Yeah. For instance, someone asked me, What team do you support? I support Man U. But I won't come out and say Man U for life. Mm-hmm. I said, I support well, Man U. Well, we are struggling. Yes, with that I know, I know. No, I said I support Man U. But I like Arsenal because they play triangular football. Uh, uh, Chelsea's mm, defense. Yes. Real so Madrid, you are you, so you, you, you can't hear a whiskey song on Big Brother and say, I don't like that song. No. I don't like whiskey. No. Like whiskey I think the whiskey that's the are what you know. We also have to adopt those. Strategies to give you an I edge. I think that was that's like that was I don't think a lot of how easy it may be. Like really practical. Know. So uh there's this notion right now. Mm. Um I, I want to say something now, but I won't say it. So there's this <laughs> notion right now yeah. of like getting into Big Brother, you need to have connections or you need yeah, to pay for it. True. I have been opportunity to talk to somebody. I'm not saying he's probably in mm. the system though, but I was talking with somebody about Big Brother and he was like, Ah, you will pay money. Mm-hmm. That's this this one ongoing right now. You go pay money. I say how much is it? Ten million. Like, ah, bro, I get ten million. I go the, go big brother. <laughs> that kind of thing. So there's a notion right now that you have to have connections. Again. You have to know somebody to get into the house. Like it's not like it's an open platform for oh, whoever. Oh, as long as you have what it takes to get there, it just has to be your connection and money. I don't know how it was for you then, mm. and. I'm sure probably in your busy schedule, you're still following up with mm. um, Big Brother Trends of Ni- um, Big Brother Nigeria. Yeah. How, was it, how was it then? And and how is it, is it the same notion that people are thinking out mm. there that it's happening? No, but back then, first of all, that was Big Brother Africa. Yeah. And it's totally different. The people who audition, they, you know. So, and then honestly, I didn't know anybody. And I did my audition in Lagos. And you know how Lagos can be. Mm. That morning, the queue was like as long as like from here to Usi to. Wow. Loads of people, different hairstyles, different dress. You know, Lagos, you can't use the that. In fact, that was when I thought, ah, people just, people, people probably just go into a salon and just say dreadlocks, please, and they just attach dreadlocks. <laughs> yeah. You know, but then I went, I killed it, and they called me. I've heard about this Nigerian notion. I don't know whether it's the Nigerian factor, but because there are too many people, and even if you don't want to cut corners, people will make you cut corners. Cut corners. You don't want to say, oh, God, I need this, I can offer this. People still call me thinking I have a hand in Big Brother Nigeria. They say, I have someone coming in, they already, they have a sponsor, someone is ready to pay no matter what it is to get him into the house. Maybe it's because they've seen the value of the show right now. They've seen what fans How lucrative. Mm-hmm. So people are ready. Yes, it's more like just go, even if you don't win, you get fans, you get yeah. followers, you start getting shows. So it's like jumpstarting you into life, mm. you know? So I think that is the reason. But then if that really happens, then it's sad because the people who really deserve it 
to not get, to get in. You know, I don't know. There are different standards in judging who goes into the house. Mm. And then the way Big Brother is, you don't really, there's no really a criteria. A criteria. Because you can pick a market woman and put that there. You can pick a doctor and put him there. And sometimes it's good to mix every to kind mix of every person. Because if you carry person. same type of one person, People you, you really get boring, boring you know? Yeah. So sometimes boring. you need to have that. So maybe that's why they balance it like that. But then if they do take bribes, then it's not, it's not right. It's not. Okay. Okay. How, do you, how do you manage fame? How did you manage the fame that came with um, being a star? Now it was not just Nigeria, mm, Africa. Africa. Mm. I'm sure probably you had uh, probably an ambassadorial trip to travel mm. to different countries. Loads of it. Loads of different it. exposure, meet different yep. people, different. Yep. Um, what do I call it? Culture? Temptations. Yeah. Mm. Yes. <laughs> how how did you manage all of that? And sorry to cut you. At that point too, you had a lot of your housemates coming over to Nigeria yeah, as well. Nigeria. There was this time I heard you were sponsoring them to come. I don't know how yeah, true. Yeah, I, I brought them to Nigeria. So do you okay. see? Yeah. Back to your question. So Colin. yeah, fa- be, I'll call Big Brother fame as uh, two minutes noodles. <laughs> yeah, because Big Brother fame doesn't even prepare the the, the, the guy in question or the girl in question. You walk in like me. I walked. I walked past the airport uh, three months before earlier, and nobody knew. Nobody, me. nobody said you. my name. Coming back, everybody bounces. Thousands of people. My name, t-shirts. So for me, it was new. You know. Let me give you an example. Whiskey. He started Ojo Legba like this story. Started from the studio. One award. Hip Hop World, MTV nomination. So he's growing in the fame. So as a celebrity, you get used to it. You you fit into the growth. Mm. But with Big Brother, you just go. You don't even know how it is outside. And the then east. trust me, those people in that house do not even know how big it is. Mm. Maybe you see you've seen it from other shows, but then you wouldn't even believe it. You wouldn't but believe you that this house, and these cameras are the ones it. that are doing this yeah. magic. You know, so they don't know when you come out. So for, let me talk about myself yes, now. So, yeah. For me, it was it was so. It was it started things that are happening so fast. For like a year after Big Brother, it was I was in it was like I was in oblivion because everything was you know people taking pictures with me. Mm. I couldn't even talk to my family when I saw them in Lagos at the airport. I couldn't talk to my friends. The bouncers, people like you know. <laughs> so I mean, fame. If you don't know how to handle it, it will kill you. Mm. It, it it becomes toxic. True. You know, and then loads of the mistakes we make as winners, as housemates, is because we're new to it. Mm. I mean, I was twenty seven when I won Big Brother. Wow. You know became rich everybody's advising you people you respect so much now come with advice you listen to some even of them the ones that you respect even the ones you know even get rights to advise you advice. People advise you. everybody will talk in your ears people are asking Fans. for money a guy bashes my car i come out to check he say ah kevo you are rich my car fix That's it me, you know let me tell you what the difference between big brother fame and it's not like whiskey now you you, make, you see he gets shows, so people respect him. Mm-hmm. Big brother, people see you and they think, ah, they saw you in boxers, they saw you crying. They believe they know you better than you even know yourself. Mm-hmm. So the, the way they expect you to relate to them, some feel you owe them the greeting or the picture because they voted for you that. Yeah. So that way, your fans relate to you different from the Definitely, way they would relate yeah. to Whiskey, you know? And then for the winners, me and you are sitting down like this. Let's say, when you saw me outside now, say, ah, Baba, Vikings, so oh, I got 10M for you. Do what you want to do. Set yourself up quietly. Okay. You carry 10 M go house. Nobody know. Your cousin tomorrow will wake up and say, "Ha, ah, Baba, I define 100 K. He say, can I don't get 100 K. Take 50 K. Say, ah, thank you. Viking is a nice guy. Mm. But on this show now, if I say, Viking, take, take 10 M or 50 million self. Say, everybody knows. Say, you don't collect don't 50 collect. million. Mm. That guy that wanted to ask you for 100 K, ask you for 1.5 million. <laughs> True. And if you he give him one change. million, say, I have him as stingy guy. I ask mm-hmm. him for money. Mm-hmm. So Thank people you. expect a lot. So a lot. there's a lot of pressure that mm-hmm. comes with it that people do not see till you get there. And you go say, ah, I saw this place day. I saw this place day. So, and then for me, personally, one of the, let me say, mistakes I made, I always thought about winning Big Brother. My dream, win Big Brother. Mm-hmm. Then I won Big Brother. You, you know that heavy D? Now that we found love. Mm-hmm. That was it. So I'm like, ah, I don't win Big Brother now. What next? So it started becoming hard for me because I didn't think Afterwards. after Big Brother now, what, what next? I had happen? plans, I had dreams, though, but he stopped at Big Brother, you know, mainly. You know, so people don't get that. So when these people come out, I, I always see them and I ask them, like I met Idris, he won the last Big Brother Africa. Hmm. Near my house in Tanzania. And I'm like, bro, what's up? 
How is the life of him? He says, it's messed up. The guy is complaining. <laughs> I, 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 I get that. So you know, yeah. so even Richard, I'm in touch with Richard. Most of them, talk to them. You, you hear Katum, mm. my brother, you know. Uh, there was something that happened between me and Katum, and I've never said this in an interview. When Katum came out from Big Brother, we, cool, we, we lived together in UG, mm. everything. So I expected to be close to close him. To mm. him. My guy, but then he was too busy. And yeah. I didn't understand. And nobody understands. Nobody understand, would understand that. He's proud. Mm. You know, I was like, I beef Katum. I beef Katum as my guy. <laughs> Me, I went to Big Brother Africa. He was Big Brother Nigeria, 100K. I went to Big Brother Africa, I won 200K. So he came long after Big Brother Africa. We were sitting down one day, I just said, Katun, please forgive me. I'm sorry, of course. Me? I said, man, I be feel. You know, I didn't easy. understand, but now I understand. You he understand. started crying. He said yeah. for the first time, he felt somebody understood him. Mm -hmm. And we're having this conversation again in Lagos with Scales there. And Scales said he too had that experience with whiskey. When whiskey started blowing, he started beefing whiskey. Yeah. That whiskey didn't have time for him. For Until him. he had to understand it. So mm. understand so, Yeah, you don't okay. understand that. <laughs> this is really, really, really um, you, intriguing um, session with like you. It feels like we should keep talking. Yeah, like we should keep talking. I have so much to ask you. But we're, we're behind yeah. time. So to yeah. just relax the mood, yeah. let's, we have a series of Riddles to just play okay. play with you. I trust I uh, am uh, this is Kevin Pam. Yeah, I trust nah, my smart Kevin smart Pam. guy. Yeah. <laughs> you answer just few riddles to okay, answer. Riddle. So okay. first one is I'm really light, <laughs> but it's really hard to hold me. What am I? Really light. Hard to hold me. Light mm. hard to hold me. I'm light. Very but light. But really hard to hold me. Hold Mosquito. Ah <laughs> no. <laughs> no? Uh, so we give him another chance. Uh, Give me a clue now. Light. You really? depend on the on it's it. It's not holdable. Eh? It's not something tangible. Eh? It's not. You can't hold it. Eh? You are close. close. Breath. Correct. Yeah! You got it. I said it. Hard to hold. Yeah. Oh, I'm, yeah. I'm unconsciously smart. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even know that. That's smart. Okay. The next one. What English word retains an equivalent pronunciation, even though you take away the. It with four letters of it, five letters. It's not master, no be English. <laughs> it's What's an English, English word. English if you take word away retains... four out of its five letters, it's pronounced the same way. It has to be wait, four out of its five letters. So it has to be it's something that's very popular. We don't mm. the experience that for Nigeria. Tete, I did tell you. Nepa. If you take out the last the the other words, it doesn't it doesn't pronounce the same way. I know, but I'm, I'm, I know it must be you one letter. It. There's a letter. There is the first letter I want to get. Yeah. Uh, experience from Nigeria. Very well. We yeah. Nigerians use it every day. Every if day. I, we, we sort of depend on it. The entire nation depends on it. I, Something related to it. <laughs> Five. Four, four. Like, three, I pass. Three. It's Q. Q. Four Q. When you remove U, when you remove the U, U, E, U, you still call it. It's still called Q. I don't even Q. know how to spell Q. I read <laughs> Q. I read English. I know how to spell Q. Sorry. Okay. So the <laughs> next one here is if you are running a race and overtake the man in second place, in what place are you? If you're in a race. A race yeah. and you overtake oh. the person in second, second place. place. You're first now. Ha. You overtake and you overtake the man in second place. Yeah. You are first runner up now. <laughs> Five. You are first now. Four. No. You overtake Three. the person in second place. Two. Yeah. You are second now. Yeah, yes, second. you got to second, second. Yeah, second. <laughs> Let me give you people two. What is no. it? Ah, true, it's true, it's true, it's true. true. true, one. true one. What goes up the mountain with one leg in the morning and comes back with two legs in the evening? You don't, you don't pass that <laughs> One leg in the morning. And comes down with, with two legs, two in, legs the in, the, in the morning. One leg. Up the mountain. Mm. Ha! <laughs> answer now. Nah. Say you are a riddle king. Say you are a riddle king. Say you are a riddle king. Don't worry. 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 Don't Dreaming to be in the big, I think I've auditioned twice now. Keep, I think keep, for big brother, remain three, yeah. remain three, <laughs> remain three. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe your own to not Yeah, big so one. Uh, it, it, it's gonna you give people cook. a lot of insight. Now, for somebody, people that people that have been there, mm. that have won and are out, some people that are still there, and for people that 
hoping to get there. What would be your advice for people that want to get involved with Big Brother? And even if it's not Big Brother, fame, fame itself. Fame Stardom. Advice My advice is that you should be sure you're ready for the good, the bad, and the ugly. Mm. You know, you should be ready for whatever comes with the package. And the most important thing with fame is character. Because talent without character is like a brand Nothing. new range of our sports without breaks. Mm. You need character and humility to sustain whatever. Getting up there is not as hard as staying up there. Mm. And you can only stay up there or be relevant. Okay, that's character. awesome. You found love in Big Brother House too, mm. right? I wanted yes, whatever to talk about this. that. Yeah, <laughs> but then it's something yeah, you are proud of. Yeah, I found love. I have two kids. I... Uh, I'm actually right now I'm divorced, You're but then I have beautiful kids from uh, Big Brother reunion that mm. I had. Uh, is love really possible then? Yeah, I think we've had people. I think about two yeah. or three two couples people now. that are married. It and is then from my set. Jen and Queen are still together. And really, they're still they're still working strong. I'm proud of them. Okay, you know we should met Mary. We're going to get together they, too. They, but then. It, it, at the point, you you guys will feel it, you know. Except it's like any other marriage. You people get married, people get married, people split. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. It, it just doesn't because work, it doesn't work. It's just because it was a spotlight, mm. you know. And then some other thing factors will come into play. So if it's the spotlight, you need to be sure that you're ready for what comes with it as well. Just like I said earlier on. So, I mean, it's not easy to find love on national TV. On people national TV, <laughs> people who have in laws, you have online in laws. I'm telling you, like everyone will ship. <laughs> Anyways, it's been an amazing time with yes, you. Yeah, really is. exciting to meet you in person, hear your story and mm -hmm. your advice. And it feels like I was there. I, I, I was just feeling like, you were talking about that thing. hotel. Like, you better say, I did corner the show. <laughs> 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 so, but a pleasure having you. Um, yeah. Hopefully, we get to meet you some of the time. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe even when we come to Tanzania. You should. Mm. Kabibu, 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 Tanzania. Thank you very Kabibu. much. Yeah. Okay, um, viewers at home, I believe you enjoyed today's episode of Cruise. It was really a cruise and amazing yeah, cruise. Yeah, I enjoyed was. I enjoyed being on this set today. It, it was a different feeling, different yep, cruise, but yep, then it, it was, was one that I enjoyed. Um, a big shout out to everybody out there. Like you said, if you have a dream, keep on it, be consistent, mm. chase it until you don't achieve give it. Up. I yep. personally, I don't believe in impossibilities. Mm. Everything is possible. If you give me a plane now. I might just drag to fly it, but I'll still fly it. Yeah. And it's not the flying, it's landing. <laughs> <laughs> I've been now. We go last, don't worry. Yeah, last, 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 this is one song that has been trending by one person. He has one particular dance that he will turn and be doing his bum bum one way. <laughs> it is by Ruga and he calls this one Girlfriend. So for myself, the Vibe King, Kevin Palm. The Vibe Prince. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and the Vibe Queen, we say do have Please. an amazing weekend. Enjoy yourself and stay safe. Bye-bye. I love